Harper and Hubble are becoming very well known for their folk melodic rock. It's because it's difficult to say, I think, more than anything else. But they're with me now. Hello, which one's Harper? Which one's Hubble? Who are we, who are we talking about? I'm Hubble. Yep. This and I'm Harper. Harper. Paul Harper. So, t- tell us how this all came together, because this isn't your first outing as musicians, is it? <laughs> uh, no, we've been around, around the block a few times. <laughs> uh, we actually... <laughs> kind of, we used to We used to work, uh, I think we spent 20, 24, 25 years together. Yeah, originally at Samuel yeah. College. At Samuel yeah, College. We, we met. Well, Andy and I knew each other from like the like early 80s from bands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we played in one or two different, not in the same band, no. f- funnily enough, but we knew each other from the circuit, as mm-hmm. you do mm-hmm. in those days. Yeah. And then, funnily enough, we ended up working together at, uh, at college, you know, yeah, so taking, uh, teaching music technology. Yeah. But, but part of that technology, though, is is the opposite of what you're doing with your yeah. sound. Because it, uh, it, although obviously recording tracks and making them sound fantastic, but uh, obviously the, the live stuff that you do is mm. as far about as unplugged as you can get, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it, yeah. in the early days, um, we used to teach analog recording. Mm. I mean, it's progressed on there with digital, and now computers do a lot of the work for you. But but wasn't it magic what you could do with an analogue recording and the way you you found solutions to things? You didn't find an app to plug in. Oh, no. Uh, We used to take a microphone. Now, it's the position of the microphone that gets you the sound, not the actual uh, technology. I mean, when the Beatles were recording, they were only recording on four track, and they hadn't got anything such as equalisation. That they'd only got a treble control and a bass control, and mm-hmm. that was about that was about it. <laughs> yeah. So you learnt the techniques. I mean, I, I used to record back in the seventies um, with my original band Snaps, um, and Peter Green used to produce us. Um, Peter Green, ex Daniel Boone, mm-hmm. ex Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, I was the drummer at that time, and. We used to overdub using cardboard boxes, aren't we? and that <laughs> big we use anything we could get a sound yeah. out of. Really. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a kind of needs must mm-hmm. right. for us, really, because we, the way we record is well, without kind of like blowing our own trumpets. We kind of well, we do a bit of multi instrumentalist stuff, so we try and, and obviously overdub a lot of it to give it a band sound. But to do something like this or a gig, unless we put a whole band together, which are probably be about a six, seven, eight piece band. We have to strip it back to the acoustic versions, which actually is quite fun mm-hmm. and it works well. But we haven't ruled out the possibility as things grow. We've had in a few, you know, a few like other members and, and doing yeah. other stuff, you know, as That's it right. goes along. But uh, but for now, we can only play one thing at a time each, and we're yeah. dead against backing tracks. That's mm-hmm. never going to yeah. happen. So. Uh, you know, we have to do it the way we can do it. So, so live is the way it happens to work, and that's nice yeah, and acoustic. Yeah. But it does mean everything you listen to on the CD is you two as well, pretty it much. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, it's keyboard, stroke, guitar based, mm-hmm. um, other than Paul's vocals. Yeah. Um, our backing vocalist Sharon, we've actually never met. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's interesting. That's the, but the, the magic of the digital age, yeah, because everything yeah, just yeah. arrives by email, yeah, I suppose. It well, it's uh, arrived through Dropbox. Yeah. Sharon does. Mm-hmm. She actually lives in Andover down in Wiltshire mm-hmm. and um, we send her a track down she puts backing vocals down she sends her files back up and then we listen to them and say yeah that works that works that doesn't work edit them up and then put them into the finished production yeah but you can cut and paste so more easily yeah. Oh, yeah. and if you like one chorus yeah. that actually fits but you didn't like the other chorus you duplicate yeah. it with no hassle and no degradation you kind of got the added bonus I suppose although I shouldn't say it like this but you, you know you don't have to say to all that doesn't really work you can just take it out <laughs> and cheat a bit but we are going to for the next album we're working on um which hope to release a uh, release around April, little plug. Yeah, so but uh, we are going to try and bring her up to the studio to do some live work with us as well, because mm-hmm. we think that'll be great to meet her and, and get get her to work with us in a yeah. studio environment. And actually, you see how it all comes together. Yeah. And you've got something that's good now. When you're working together in the same place, it could even it gel could further, and it could be else. amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, where do people find out more about your music? Website: uh, hnhmusic.com. So H and H music. So it's yeah, it's an N, H-N-H-music. isn't it? N H music.com yep. and that, that's how you found there from the, from the black country so which H, H and H music <laughs> <laughs> and it just it, see you see you.com at the end of the H and H yeah. and you've got yeah, a little window into the world that is a, a magical musical sound well hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed well we're going to hear you play live what are you going to yeah. perform for us uh, well, we're going to do a track actually um, called Running Wild mm-hmm. which isn't on this album, which might be, but we could actually work it on a new album, so all the tracks are out there for people to hear in on 
Hopefully you'll play a few of those anyway. So, uh, But this is a track called Running Wild, which we've just recently written, and uh, we think it works quite nicely on the acoustic and the congas, so we thought we'd, uh, we'd give that one a go. Good job. 